Hi, I'm Angie Cummings from KV and Sussex Sleep Clinic, and I want to talk to you today about sleep apnea. So what is sleep apnea? I get asked that question a lot. Sleep apnea is a breathing condition that you have at night when you're asleep where you stop breathing. So right now, most of you out there watching, unless you've fallen asleep on me, are breathing just fine. Chances are you're nice and pink, you're breathing in and out without even thinking about it. You know, you're not breathing too fast, you're nice and comfortable, no problems with your breathing at all. Sometimes, however, when some of us go to sleep, we stop breathing, so why is that? Well, right now, when you're breathing normally, your throat is nice and wide open. So if this is your throat, you've got lots of room. You've got lots of room back there and the air moves in and out with no trouble, no obstruction at all, and that's why you're breathing just fine. At night, all of the muscles in our body relax, including the muscles in our throat. So your throat can go from being nice and wide open like this to being more narrow. That happens for everybody. But for some of us, me included, my throat gets very narrow. And that air that passes through your throat causes the tissue in your throat to vibrate together. And we all know what that sounds like. So when that tissue is vibrating together, it cuts off the air. Sometimes we suck in so hard to get more air that we actually suck our throats closed and we stop breathing. And this is what that looks like. So at the end there, you heard the big snort that I had. If I was sleeping, that would have been me stopping breathing for a few seconds. 10 or more seconds means you have an apnea, a stopping breathing episode, and then I had to give a great big snort in order to take a breath in. Well, this can happen to people dozens of times a night. And if that happens time and again to you, your brain is having to wake up out of its deep sleep in order to tell you to take a breath. And it has the same effect on your body as if I picked up the phone and called you dozens of times a night. Now you can imagine how you'd feel the next day if you got dozens of phone calls every night disturbing your sleep. Well, if you have sleep apnea or snore heavily, that's exactly what's happening. So you end up not feeling as refreshed as you should during the day. So for all of you who wonder what's the big deal with having sleep apnea and was it, what is it anyway? Well, it's the stopping breathing and it's also about not feeling refreshed during the day. There are a lot of cardiovascular uh, problems that go along with sleep apnea as well, uh, but I'll get into that another time. Now you know what sleep apnea is. Thanks very much.